Hi everyone, for today's video we're going to make some bottle cap charms. I posted these on my Instagram and here are the bottle caps that I found at Hobby Lobby and I used a one inch flare button and then this one is happy birthday theme. So they're all, um, these are the Poco Doodle celebration um, collection and so it's all like a birthday celebration theme. Here, um, I'll put, um, I mean, I'll do a separate video on this zipper pouch. But you can see here I put it on the zipper pull. The really cute um, bottle cap charms. Here's some more inside this bag that I made. So I'll show you one more and then we'll make one together. I'll just show you through the bag. You guys can see it. But they're really cute. They're really fun to make. Um, really quick and easy. Okay, so let's make some here. So let's put these aside. So the glue that I used, um, I picked this up at my local Dollar Tree. It's um, super glue. And it's this one right here. You can find it in the car aisle um, at your Dollar Tree store. It's really good glue. Um, I use those for the plastic bales, and I bought these on Etsy. They came in a pack of 100, so they're just plastic bales that I glue onto these um, cabochons. As you can see, I'll just glue it to the back. And then these cabochons I bought from Amazon, and I'll put that link down below. Came in this cute little heart case, and they're all pink. And you get a bunch of these. So that I made, you know, a few of them already. But I'll show you how I glued it and everything. Okay, so let's um, do that first. So let's get one of these bales. And then I'm going to pick a charm. I'm going to do another one of these macaroons. They're cute. Okay, so I just turn it over to the back. And then I put the bale, you know, on my left hand because I'm right handed. And then I'm just going to put a couple of drops. Put a couple of drops of that. And then I just do that. Basically, just turn it over. And then just let it dry. Okay, so I usually let it sit for, you know, at least, you know, an hour or so. I mean, it doesn't take that long to dry, but I just let it sit like that. And then you get something cute like this. And then all you have to do is just add a jump ring. Okay? So let's move this. Yeah, be careful with this glue. You don't want to get it on your skin. Stuff will stick. Okay, so first we're going to pick our bottle cap. So I'll just get this pink one here. And I don't have the bottle cap punch, which um, I'm going to actually order after this video because I know um, Amazon has it. So I'm just going to order it there. But this works. Um, so I'm just going to punch a hole. See, it's perfectly fine. So technically I don't really need to get that punch, but it's nice to have. Okay, so we did that. Then we're going to take our one inch flare. And these are the cute, here. These are the cute um, polka doodle flares. Really cute images. Okay, so we'll take one. And then I just take a glue dot, just place it to the back, and then I just place it on the bottle cap. Just kind of get in the center there. Okay, really quick and easy. Okay, and then now I'm going to take a jump ring. So I have two sizes. I have a 10 millimeter and an 8 millimeter. And then I'm just going to place the 10 millimeter. Place it through the hole. And 
and just close it. Okay, and then you're going to add your charms. So let's take, and I buy a bunch of these really pretty charms from Amazon as well. Um, and I'll put that link down below as well. So let's pick one. Let's get a cute one here. Let's see if I can find a flower. I'll just get this cute umbrella. Actually, I'll use this flower one. Okay, so I'm going to use this flower one. And then I'm going to take an 8 millimeter jump ring. And then I'm just going to add it to the ball cap or to the 10 millimeter jump ring. Okay, we've got something like that so far. Cute. And then we'll add this one. And that's it. Really quick um, embellishment. Really cute. However, you use them. And there you go. And you got yourself a cute bottle cap charm. So you got a cute uh, cabochon and a charm on there. And then, like how I did here, you can hang it onto a zipper or, you know, anywhere pretty much. Really cute. I mean, cute charms. And then, if you want to do it, let's say you want to do it upside down, have the charm be on the bottom, you could do that. You just obviously would turn your image the other way. And this would be cute on, let's say, like a bow, dangling off of a bow. That would be cute as well. So that is how I made my bottle cap charms. And again, I'll put all the links down below of the places where I purchased the items. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.